had some faith that who gon' hurt this? I naughty night you lullaby. I'm doing me, it's do or die. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night. We bring the vibes here. We full of life, you keep the change, keep the change. They hate and say we win and change. I stay the same. You must be blinded by the lights. You must be blinded by the lights. lights. color full glam makeup tutorial for beginners using this uh, lip matte from a local brand and I'm going also to use other local makeup brands let's begin
Welcome to my channel. I'm Easy, your friendly professional makeup artist. I aim to help, educate, and empower aspiring makeup artists and makeup enthusiasts. So if you are new to my channel, may this tutorial help you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This video, I'm going to share with you how to become a pro MUA. Here are the 10 tips that you should know. So the first tip in becoming a pro MUA that you should know is number one is always be on time or in my case I'm going to suggest with you is that you should be on the preparation area or in the location ahead ka ng 13 minutes to 60 minutes. Why? Because it, it has enough time for you to rest for a while to set up your makeup stations hindi ka nagka-cramming at least may time ka na may grace period para hindi ka mahirapan sometimes kasi when we have makeup services like weddings especially now Burmans na no there's a time na naghahanap tayo ng location ng preparation area nagtatanong pa tayo so at least you have enough time na hindi ka nagmamadali okay so uh, and it's also a good impression na you are always uh on time or ahead of time. Magandang impression yan sa magiging future clients mo. Number two naman is uh, tips in becoming a professional MUA is number two is be presentable. Okay? Presentable, wear a presentable clothing. Hindi naman kailangan na luxury or sobrang forma. It's up to you. But when you say presentable, um, you have clothes shoes. As much as possible, avoid sleeveless. Okay? Um, mas maganda um, either um, with sleeves, but it's up to you, okay? It's your preference. Pero sinasabi ko lang, be presentable. Um, even your hair, tidy your hair. Kung sanay ka na habang nagmimakeup, nakatidy ang buhok mo para hindi na di-disturb, no? Or may bangs ka, clip it while you're doing uh, makeup service. Do that, okay? And wear accessories is up to you. Um, wearing full makeup, it's up to you. The third tip in becoming a pro MUA is you should have a bag or a set bag of all your touch-up kits. Um, especially if you're doing weddings, if you are doing outdoor shoots for photo shoots naman, kailangan meron kang set ng touch-up kit na ready mo nang kuhanin, ready mo nang i-pick up just in case na may kailangan i-touch up sa client mo. Lagi yan, never never na aalis ka ng bahay mo na wala kang touch up kit or a touch up kit na pwede mong ibigay sa bride mo kung hindi ka naman magtatagal sa wedding ng client mo. Okay? And number four is for your future clients. In case na meron ka ng mga paid clients, always have a record, have a calendar of all clients na gagawan mo ng service, all the clients na nag-down payment sa'yo, nag-book sa'yo, never forget them, always have an organizer or a calendar and I really advise also to uh, put it also in your mobile phone 
para hindi mo nakakalimutan to avoid uh, overbookings. Kaya kailangan meron kang list ng mga clients mo. The fifth tip in becoming a pro mua is you should have a contract. Regardless if you are a freelancer or if you really have a registered business as a professional makeup artist, you should have a contract. One page or two page. Um, the reason for that is it serves as a protection for you and for your client as well. So, kahit nag ka, kahit a simple contract, whether you are going to submit it through email, through social media, as long as you have a contract na naka-list down doon yung list of services na gagawin mo sa client mo. So, the sixth tip that you should know in becoming a pro MUA or pro MUA is that, um, guys, boys and girls, always ask permission first when you are going to take before and after photo of your clients. Whether it's a bride, it's a private client, always ask permission. Okay? Because there will be come a time na makaka-encounter ka ng client na ayaw nilang i-post in public yung ginawa mong makeup whether it's 100% flawless they don't want to post it in public pero pwede mo yung gamitin uh, in person to person kapag may kausap ng client no? pwede mo yung gamitin but they will not agree na i-post sa public yung gawa mo for them alright so respect uh, their privacy always pero if I'm going to uh, share with you some tip pa, especially when bridal clients, it's maganda you're going to include it in the contract that the photos, the before and after photos, will be used for your marketing purposes. So the seventh tip that you should know in becoming a pro MUA or a pro MUA is that you as a makeup artist, you should read your client. You should know how to read the personality of your client you should know how to read their body language if they feel un um, uncomfortable if they feel they don't like the way you're doing in their makeup always have the eye no kung paano mo tinitignan yung body language nila because you know a, a great makeup artist must can pay attention doon sa silent uh, cues ng kanilang mga kliyente Remember that, guys. Um, don't just do makeup. There are times that you have to really read them. Read them well. Read their personality. If gusto nilang nakikipag-usap ka, kung gusto nilang tahimik na makeup artist, no? uh, if they don't like what you're doing, ask them. If you don't like the look, makikita mo yan eh. So, better, you always ask them how, how do they feel. Okay? So, para nakikilala mo, no? alam mong kumilos, doon sa kliyente mo. So, the eighth tip that you should know in becoming a pro MUA or pro MUA is that, ito talaga, um, how can I say this? I mean, yes, you've built rapport with your client. Um, you have this kind of um, initial uh, uh, friendship or not totally friendship, pero naging social friend mo na siya. Be professional. Wag kang maging close or sobrang close or feeling close dun sa client mo, okay? Do not mix your the business with, uh, I don't know if that's the right term, with pleasure. So, as an inspiring MUA, I want you to be reminded to be professional. You're there to do service, not to entertain them. Get small. So, when you're there in the location, work. Just work. Pag may konting binibiro, kapag ikaw ang binibiro, sige lang, konting biro, but don't go overboard. Because sabi nga kanina, may mga clients may encounter nila na ayaw nila na masyadong talkative. And may times na may mga client na sensitive, no? Baka mamaya, um, they don't like na super involved ka sa, sa, sa pinag-usapan nila. And they don't, parang nafe-feel na nila na, ano, close ba, kay, close ba tayo? <laughs> no? Ganon, best, no? So, yeah, wag ganon. Again, to remind you, you are there to work and to give service. The ninth tip that you should know to become a pro MUA, this talaga, isa sa mga dapat mong do this by heart. Do not gossip your client. Do not 
create gossip about your client regardless if you're handling a known model a known celebrity or a known client a high-end client um regardless kung anong status nila after the service never gossip them regardless kung may na encounter kang hindi magandang attitude sa kanila or may ginawa silang hindi maganda hindi man sayo but to others shut your mouth what you see what you hear stays here may ganong kasabihan so never gossip them regardless um whatever you see no do not gossip your client do not do that so be professional wag mong ikalat ko ano yung nakita mo hindi maganda sa client mo wag na wag mong gagawin yan um kasi maapektuhan din yung integrity mo as a makeup artist di ba and um mas maganda na you stay away from gossip because that would save you no and hindi yan makakatulong sa career mo the last tip the top 10 tip in becoming a pro muwa that you should know eto talaga put this by heart as a professional makeup artist never canceled paid clients never canceled paid clients regardless na merong malaking client na nagbubuk sa yo to hire your services wag yung gayahin ng mga ibang professional makeup artist na because may mas malaking dumating ikakancel nila yung una kasi maliit lang yung booking nito do not do that sabi nga kanina protect your integrity as a professional makeup artist may mga kilala kong makeup artist professional makeup artist na kahit anong laki nung binuk nagbubuk sa kanila they prioritize kahit na ex deal to kahit na mababa ang rate because they value by heart they put it in the heart the word honor no may palabra de honor yun ang tatandaan mo as a makeup artist regardless may magbook sa ng malaki sure if you could reschedule that kung kaya mong uh, gawan siya ng service at the same day go ahead pero kung sa tingin mong alanganin do not cancel the first one na nagbook sa yo regardless na mababa yung rate have the word of honor guys remember sabi nga sabi nga ng iba remember yung salitang karma ni karma okay kapag ginagawa mo yan for me i believe naman there is a consequences in every action that you do okay so kung ano ang gawin mo babalik sa iyo yan remember the word of mouth word of mouth is a powerful uh, marketing tool so you don't know that word of mouth can be a good use sayo or a bad thing before I end this video I would like to encourage my aspiring uh, makeup artist okay that being a professional makeup artist it it's not just a validation of having a makeup school certificate okay that certificate only symbolizes that you finished the course but being a professional makeup artist it takes time to hone your skills being a professional makeup artist is not just having this great skill set, but also all the tips that I've mentioned in becoming a pro muwa. Having the right mindset, having the right attitude, being a professional when handling your clients, that is the key in becoming a professional muwa.
long nights alone Sleeping by myself with no one to hold And I think, don't you worry my friend You've got time, but right now I think I need someone Who takes me to dinner and wine And kisses me every night
So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make small eyes bigger in two ways without using a wing eyeliner application. This is great for beginners and for those na nahihirapang gumawa ng wing eyeliner, then you can start by using this kind of method to create this natural illusion that you have a bigger eyes. So let's begin. Always make sure that your brows are groomed and trimmed. It helps to have the illusion of a bigger eyelid space pag nakabrush up ang mga brows natin. So the first way in making your smaller eyes bigger is get a small brow brush and get your super matte black eyeshadow or dark brown or you can also use a gel eyeliner but make sure it's a waterproof one. So the next thing that you're going to do is we want to place the black eyeshadow on the bed of lash. So saan ang bed of lash? Here. Bed of lash is here. Can you see? Bed of lash. Not on the lid, not like this, but on the bed of lash. You are going to push and wiggle. Push and wiggle. So get your matte black. So you just push, push, wiggle. Push and we go. As you can see, on my left eye, it's more bigger than on my right. So to make it um, have a more illusion, I'm going to apply a beige skin tone matte eyeshadow. Just a little amount. Sweep it over your lid to your brow bone. Then, don't forget to curl your lashes and apply two coats of mascara on the upper lash and one coat of mascara on the lower lash line. That would give an illusion of more bigger and fuller eyes. The second way is, after applying the black matte eyeshadow on your lash bed, you could apply a matte skin tone shade. Apply it all over your lid. you're going to take a brown eyeshadow or a contour powder and we are going to create a crease that would give an illusion of bigger eye. Crease is, some, is somewhere here below the socket bone ng eyes natin. So get your your brown or your contour powder get a fluffy brush and you just start applying here Look straight at the mirror if you have a hooded eye para alam mo kung saan yung crease. So, start applying here. So, for the purpose of this video, medyo ididipen ko pa yung color ng brown para makita nyo para hindi lang ma-wash out sa ring light. Kita nyo na yung difference? And what's left with the brush, lagay nyo lang konte on the lower lash. Just at the corner ng eyes. Corner halfway through. Sa mata natin. Here. You stop here. Because you're going to apply a nude pencil. Wag white. White is too harsh. Make sure na nude pencil on the lower waterline. Again, it gives an illusion of a bigger eyes. So, lagay kay deep.
You see the difference? And then you could apply again a coats of mascara, curl your lashes and apply coats of mascara on the upper lash and lower lash. And optional, you can wear a false eyelashes to make your eyes more bigger. Also apply a matte highlighter or shimmer highlighter at the inner corner of your eyes to make it more bigger and fuller pa. So guys, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Marami kayo na tips and tricks to make your smaller eyes bigger without using a wing eyeliner techniques.
subscribe and like this video, share it, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you guys. Bye!
long nights alone, sleeping by myself with no one to hold, and I think, don't you worry, my friend, you got time, but right now I think I need someone.
In this tutorial, I'm going to help you how to make your lips big and appear fuller without overlining or using lip liner method. So if you want to learn more of this tutorial, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be updated on my next video. And don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Let's begin. So number one, always before we do anything on our lips, make sure it's already prepped, meaning it's already been scrubbed. It has already a lip balm or lip serum para in case that we are going to apply our uh, lipsticks or lip liners mas madali siyang mag glide sa lips second look straight at the mirror and assess always your lips okay ko ano dapat i balance if your lower lip is already fuller then you have to concentrate on your upper lip and vice versa but for the purpose of this video let's say that you have a smaller lip then i will show you how to uh, do an illusion to make your small lip to appear bigger okay first thing you do is get your concealer and as you can see on my lip i have a natural darkness on the corner of my mouth so i have to cover this with a concealer if in case na mas severe pa yung pagka sobrang brown or dark ng corner of your mouth it's time for you to use the corrector and then concealer Get a small lip brush and gently pat the concealer on the corner of your mouth kung saan kailangan ng darkness. Uh, sorry, kailangan ng uh, i-conceal. And then you blend with your finger or with your beauty sponge. This will help also the illusion that your lips are fuller because you've ap applied a lighter shade sa corner ng lips mo. Then, slightly set it with translucent powder. Next is, we are going to slightly contour our cupid's bow and on the lower lip and slightly on the corner of your mouth to have that illusion of it's like a pouty fuller lips you have to use a small uh, eyeshadow brush any small uh, brush that could pick up eyeshadow or contouring powder so again use a contouring powder which is a slight ashy or cool tone so that it will serve as a or it will act as a shadow lightly apply the contour powder on the upper part of the cupid's bow do this ever so slightly blend upwards take your contouring powder and you're going to apply it on the bottom of your lower lid then slightly apply on the upper corner So this is the result. I believe that you can see it clearly. It's like I have a fuller upper lip and lower lip and at the same time naka has the illusion of pouty. So for the lips, I'm going to use Sunny's face in Baby Spice and I'm going to use another local brand, the Lisai. I'm going to post the the link on the description box where you could purchase the Dalisai. I love this lip gloss. It's not too sticky. It's 
it has just right amount of um, gloss and para siyang watery type which is I, I, I really love apply the clear lip gloss on the center of your lip to make it appear more fuller and bigger so this is the end result of how to make your lips big without overlining your lips without using a lip liner so as you can see kahit hindi ako gano'n mag smile no? especially pag naka rest ang face ko you can see that it's pouty it's just a matter of how you strategically highlight and contour the features of your face for that you could achieve like this uh, fuller uh, lip. And guys, I would like to inform you also that I do one-on-one -on -one makeup tutorial lessons. You could reach me at my Facebook page, Easy Makeup Artist. I'm also accepting bridal booking. You just also search my Facebook page, Easy Makeup Artist. Don't forget to follow me on my social media account, guys. And please, if you enjoyed, if you learned something in this tutorial, please don't forget to like, share this to your friends, subscribe to my channel, help me to reach our goal. I would really so much appreciate all the love that I could get from you. So thank you so much for watching.